Okay, this is how to grease the front auger shaft on a Toro uh, 1428 commercial unit. I bought, I just finished buying this uh, about a month ago before it snowed, and as you can see, there is real snow on here. So I'm going to show you what, where. I did it now I, because this is winter I'm not going to tear this apart and I'm going to come in here so what I did is I took out the shear bolt and I rolled a piece of uh, caulking plastic around the back and I put it on with hose clamps and in the this side here I wrapped a rag scrap one very tightly around the shaft so the grease wouldn't leak out and I clamped it with a hose clamp. So when this bolt has been removed that allows you a 5 16 hole to put grease in. And I'm going to go over here to the workbench to a clean piece of paper and I'm going to show you this is the grease gun I used and I modified the nose of it with a tire valve stem. And what I did, that's a standard used inch and a quarter tire valve stem. What I, I ground off the end of the rubber. This is as best I can show you. Don't worry where my fingers are because that was attempt number one. It didn't work. The Diameter of the end of this tire valve is decimal 303, 28 threads to the inch. That's a standard used older grease gun nozzle with a large diameter. And I ground this down to put it in there in the end to produce this tool. And I'll go back over to the grease gun, or snow blower, I should say. And what I did, and I'm not going to do it because this is winter. I pushed it into the 5 16 hole with the shoulder of the grease gun or the rubber tire valve sealing the grease. And I very slowly squeezed one pump at a time, and eventually I filled the entire distance between the two tubes. Now, I had to keep the rag tightly wrapped around the end because it did come out and then when I knew it was finally full, it came out the other end. It's too cold and we're not going to do that in the winter. And I did this to this one I just purchased and I also did it to uh, another person's that they got the, the 1432 model. And as you can see, that is real snow on top. And looking outside, yeah, we've had a, our first snowfall and it's trying to start. So it is very fiddly. Uh, it was very messy the first attempt or two until I came up with this method and then I got excellent results. Anyways, that's Craig here from Uxbridge in the winter playing with snow blowers, and I did this when the weather was nice. It is now too cold to be playing with snow blowers, greasing them. Okay, talk to you later.